Hi guys. Uh, today I'm bringing you the first episode of Digimon World Redigitized. I've got a lot on my mind lately that I feel like to talk about through playing the game. And I'm not going to show you the opening cutscene because it's already been broadcasted on YouTube. Uh, I'm just going to show you the in, the more the further intro of the game where you land in the digital world. I am going to continue to just go through the cutscenes and and I'll see how it goes. I don't have a plan for my Let's Play, but I will take it one step at a time. I've already made the other videos, funny enough, before the first one, before part one. I've already made part two through six. This is because I had a save file with a Digimon that I had raised all the way to the champion or ultimate form. I, I kind of skipped, I, I skipped past part one where you were given a rookie to battle with. I'm not sure if I want to read the dialogue, because I have no idea if my acting is that good. Try to say her name. Oh, there we go, it's with an X. Okay, because I keep hitting circle and nothing happens. Uh, let's see, where's the R? I can't see the R. That looks funny. Oh, there we go. Okay. And I'll try to make it to the 15 minute mark, or the tw or the 18 minute mark, hopefully. Yeah, I'm gonna hit, let's see, press start and finish. Yes. That's my name! Yeah, uh, to those of you who are tuning in, I am also, I have a history with this game. I'm also going to tell you about it. I'll tell my Digimon's name. Okay. Mm. I actually got the first Digimon World game back in 1999. I got it when it first came out, so... I've played, th I've played this game to a degree. Like, I understand the mechanics of redigitize. Some Digi-Evolutions, though, may be different because the entire system adopts Mega Forms and other other levels beyond Mega. Like, with the X Antibody. You know, I may actually do a Let's Play for that other game, but first I want to get this one done. Let's see. Real human isn't supposed to be able to come here in the flesh. I don't know either. What I'm going to do is go up to Gigimon's house and talk to him and get the like the full intro out of the way so people can figure out th what the story is. Agumon senses something. Yep. Corrupted Gabumon. Time for battle. Huh? How fighting works in this world. Fighting is your partner's job. By selecting a command at the top of the screen, you can give an order. You can use either the analog stick or the directional pad. The name of the command you select is displayed above the command menu. Sometimes battles can be hard to follow. If you want to have a better view, you can use the L and R buttons to change the camera. When times are tough, you can support us by giving us items. Well, let's give it our best shot. Watch me. Oh, snap, he got me. He stopped me from using my attack. Did I get him? No, I didn't. Okay, I've got, I've got him near half health. He keeps stopping me. I'm losing MP because of this. There we go, he's using fire breath. Thank light.
Let's see here. There. The finishing gauge is full. By using your special skill, you can deal extra damage. Press... Well, let me see. What is square considered? I, I want to give it a general name. I guess the, the special attack button. Yeah. Stop the attack gauge with circle in the success zone. Uh, and the power will be doubled. But be careful, enemies have special skills too. If you stop the gauge at this point, it will increase your defense. Oh, yeah, the defense gauge. If you time it right, you'll take less damage. And now, let's settle this. Let's do it! Oh, no, I was too early. No, I got him anyway. I guess it couldn't be helped. Mastered Mock Jab. Okay. Yeah, I've got other videos lined up that take place after the intro of the game with an ultimate Digimon who unfortunately lost his life. Uh, long story. But you'll, you'll see more about that throughout the course of this playthrough. By watching our opponents use skills, I can learn to use them too. You can get set skills in the Digivice menu. Well, let's head to File City before another one like that turns up. Sure glad you have a Digivice. <laughs> At first, I had no idea where you were. But all I had to do was follow the signal from your Digivice and it led me right to you. Do you remember how to use your Digivice? Yes, I do. Oh wait, I, I used... Oh, whatever, I hit the wrong choice. Press the... What, what is the triangle? I guess I'll just call it the launcher. Uh, the launch menu button to launch the di uh, Digivice. From there, choose the button on the far right to enter the Digivice menu. In the Digivice menu, you can check my stats. You can also check your mail, download any items that are attached. Oh, and don't forget to save your adventure progress. I think that covers the basics. Well, once you've used it, I'm sure you'll remember. Take your time to figure it out. Got it. Yeah, finally, we're headed to File City. All right! We can go into File City and talk to Gigi Mon. We're here. Welcome. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there are any clues here. Let's go ask the city's elder. Gigi Mon might know why you're in this world. Go up this road, and it'll take you straight to Gigi Mon's house. It has a huge sign by the door. You can't miss it. Oh, I know what this is. Ah, look, two baby Digimon conversing. Now they're talking to me. Another human. Oh no, oh no, run! Jiarimon. What's wrong, guys? Why are you running away? And what did they mean by another human? I wish I could ask them. Should we try to talk to them again? Mm, no. Why not? Aren't you curious? You know, Akumon's got a great point. Aw, oh, there they go. Something's up. I think we should hurry to Gigi Mon's and ask him what's going on. The road leads straight to Gigi Mon's house. You know, it's it's a comp it's not complicated, but it's a tough choice between two babies who know about one particular thing, while the city's elder probably knows a lot more. It's, it's not that complicated. The sign's pretty big, isn't it? This is Gigi Mon's house. You're right, it is big. Told you. Digimon, Gigimon is the city's elder. You might even know why you're in this world. So let's go inside. Sweet! You know what? I'm probably gonna allow the text to play itself out and not not even voice act. Yeah. I'll just do it for this one tiny segment.
Alright, I'm gonna check the mail and I'll probably end this play end this part in the segment. This is part one, so look forward to the rest in part two through seven and possibly more down the road. Check the log to read it. Yeah. Uh, before I conclude this part, I am gonna walk through some of these little menus. Uh, so far, items. Just have your items. Uh, food to feed your Digimon. Recovery items to deliver in mid battle. Re recommended that you do in mid battle. An autopilot, which transports you back to the city from wherever you happen to be at. Praise and scold, I don't know if I'm going to use them, like these depend on whatever actions take place. If your Digimon goes to the toilet or does something inappropriate, yeah, you can scold them, and that bar to your right that is in purple, no, pinkish, darkish pink, uh, are the ha they are the happiness and discipline. If you scold them, they become a different color. I believe it's yellow in this game. And your Digimon will last when it comes to life expectancy. Okay, sleep, you just you just save the game and let them go to bed when they're tired after a day of training or eating or something. Some, something of the sort. And Digivice. Digivice has a lot of options here. Check out the skills. And now I can equip Mock Jab because I recently learned it. Okay, accessory. I, I don't know what this does other than a cosmetic wear. Yeah, so it's not going to be there to change. Digimemory I can explain a little bit later. Evolution info. One thing about the evolutions in this game, as opposed to Digi Digimon World 1, is that they actually tell you what stats are required in order to become a particular Digimon. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, Agumon. Requires increased offense, easier evolution from Koromon. Alright, so predominantly offensive is what you have to be. Yeah, cards will go through later. Key items. Uh, anytime you receive a, pe a peculiar item that you can't really use, but you'd rather have to hold on to, they'll be here. Like the Digivice. Let's see, titles, tamer info. Yeah, if your Digimon Digivolves, or should I say evolves, your tamer level goes up. If they evolve naturally. Like if you go to Ultimate and to Mega, uh, I guess it's the equivalent of getting a gold star just for showing up. Uh, it's not a bad thing if you're raising your Digimon well. Uh, news log, I don't really, I haven't really gone onto it, I have no interest in it right now. Keywords, uh, view common terms, I think this is done through dialogue, I have no idea. World map, let's see, file city, yeah, you can access the map in the other menu, uh, when you hit the launcher. Yeah, I'm gonna check the mail, let's see. Digivice guy, the first email. Your Digivice has many convenient functions. With your Digivice, you can do the following. Display your detailed information, choose your partner's Digimon skills, check your mail, display news in various logs, save and load. Please use it regularly. Oh, yes. Because uh, one thing that really irked me in the original Digimon world was having to save at only particular points of the game, rather than just being able to save at any time. Anyway, we're going to read Digimon's email. Hi, it's Gigimon. This message has reached you, I hope, and tell me if I'm going too fast. The abnormalities that keep happening here in the digital world have scared off a lot of the Digimon that live here in File City. Because of that, the city services have mostly come to a halt. Could you lend me a hand with this? First, you'll have to go to Railroad Plain south of the city and bring Gabumon, one of the runaways, back. Yes, if you don't know something, just ask the Digimon in the city. I've told them they don't have to be scared of you. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, I have a choice. I could go get Gabumon and bring him back, or I can just avoid it altogether and go train. Uh, I have five small recovery items. Let me see Agumon's stats, because I haven't done that. Let's see, 53, 51, 51. The thing is, I'm worried I may not be strong enough to take on Gabumon, and I don't want to look bad in this video for not being able to get past the first level, so... Uh, it would not be in my best interest to pursue this. So I guess I'll just end the video here at the 15 minute mark. Now that we've covered the introduction, everything is set. See you later!